Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our Apollo Masterclass. This is Mike Falco, and we are going to be speaking today about tasks. Okay. Now, tasks, what are they? Why do we need them? Okay. So tasks are an easy way to remind yourself of a one-off activity, right? Now, the reason why we have sequences is so that we don't have to remind ourselves to do things or to action things, right? The tasks are a little bit different due to the one-off nature of these activities, okay? So I think a good example of what a task should be would be, let's say you speak with a prospect and they want you to reconnect with them in seven months, right? So you don't have a sequence that you can put your prospects into easily that will begin six months from now to reconnect with that person. So that's what a task is taken care of, okay? Now, you're gonna select your contact, right? The type of task. Now, an action item is something along the lines of go research any new hires on Mike Falco's team and reach out to them, okay? Something along those lines that, again, is a one-off activity. Um, you can also connect through LinkedIn. You could also send a message through LinkedIn. Um, now, this is not an in-mail, just for the record. This is a message to somebody that you're already connected with. Um, the rest of these are self-explanatory, okay? Now, assign to, obviously important if you're running a team or delegating to a team. Uh, for right now, it's just me, as this is for a new client. Uh, due date, obviously very important. Priority, high, medium, low. These are very, very important to commit to a definition of each and stick with it. And I'll show you guys why later when we do some advanced plays. So my task here is going to be, let's send a LinkedIn connection request, right? And we can then say, hey, first name, we spoke back in May about your XYZ. Wanted to see if you'd still like to connect, something like that, okay? So we're gonna create that task. Now, where are you gonna see this? This is the important piece, right? Because if you create all these tasks, that's lovely, but if it's not in front of your face, what are you doing? So here we could see the tasks pop up here on the right side, top right. What I would prefer that you guys do though is come into the cockpit, okay? So the sales rep cockpit, I think, is where you should live, and this is where you should start your day. Any tasks that are due today are going to be here. Any tasks that are due tomorrow will also be here. Now, there's one glitch here that we need to talk about, okay? If I have tasks, and let me just show you what I mean here and make sure that they didn't fix it. Um, now, I want to just say, let's say that this task was actually back in July, okay? Now... Does that make sense? No, but just work with me here. We're not gonna see this task show here anymore. So my point here, guys, is the tasks in your cockpit do not retroactively say you have these overdue tasks. So how do we do that? That's important, right? Everybody gets behind sometimes. So task due date, right? This is where we're gonna be able to pull in older data. So let me just say, one month ago, and we should see me pop up here, okay? Now, what I like to do is go ahead and save this. This is gonna be default tasks, okay? And then every time that I, I come in here, right, I'm gonna log in, I'm gonna come to my cockpit, go to complete my tasks. I'm just gonna load my tasks, and then we'll see me pop up back there. Okay, that's a bit on tasks. Uh, next, we are going to talk about templates. See you guys soon.